In today's video, we'll be doing a comparison between two of the most popular SEO optimizing tools in the market, Surfer SEO and Phrase.io. And both of these tools can help you optimize existing and new blog post or web page content to help increase the likeliness of ranking on the first page of Google. And while they may have some different features and integrations, both of these tools work by giving you feedback and recommendations from the top websites or blog posts for a specific keyword. So let's go ahead and do an in-depth comparison between Surfer SEO and Phrase.io and take a look at things such as pricing, specific features such as topic research and content optimization tools. We'll also be taking a look at the outline builder and how easy or beginner friendly both of these tools are. Let's start by taking a look at the different pricing plans included in both Surfer and Phrase. So Surfer SEO is the more expensive tool, but there's not that big of a difference. The basic plan is $59 per month and you get 10 content editors and 20 audits. So essentially you can create 10 new pieces of content and optimize that content. And you can also do 20 audits of old existing content in which you would like to optimize. And you also get free natural language processing for the first month, one team member, and the grow flow, which is a new feature included in Surfer SEO. Now let's look at that pricing compared to Phrase. The basic plan is $45 per month. So again, we see a difference of $15 here and you get one user seat and you get 30 document credits. So again, you can optimize 30 pieces of content. So essentially you have the same amount of optimization and features from the basic plan from Phrase because you have 10 content editors and 20 audits, which comes up to 30 pieces of content in which you can optimize. Now let's look at the Pro, which is 119 per month from Surfer SEO. And this gives us 30 content editors and 60 audits, three team members. Now, if we compare that to Phrase, again, it's a little bit lower in pricing and we get unlimited document credits, okay? So that's a big difference um, from Surfer, which gives us a total of 90 content edits per month. So if you're a big content agency or you're creating a lot of content within your business, this unlimited documents credit would be a lot more appealing when compared to Surfer SEO. So I'll leave links in the description below for both Surfer SEO and for Phrase. So if we were to compare the pricing just at the face value, of course, Phrase um, would be a little bit more attractive because their pricing is a little bit lower. And if you get the plan for $114 per month, you get unlimited document credits. But as you know, lower pricing isn't always better. You always wanna make sure that you're getting value and use out of what you're paying for. So I've used both Surfer and Phrase and I find that you have some more features included in Surfer SEO. So we'll go ahead and look at those features in a little bit. But again, if we're just looking at pricing and if you're very price sensitive, then Phrase would be the better option. But if you're looking for a little bit more features and in my opinion, a more advanced SEO optimizing tool and you have the budget, then Surfer SEO would be a great option. So let's go ahead and now start taking a look at some specific features. And we'll start by taking a look at the topic research tools included in both Surfer and Phrase. One of the main reasons why I think Surfer SEO is one of the best SEO optimizing tool in the market and has a little bit of an advantage over Phrase is because even before you start optimizing your content, you're able to do a lot of content research and planning beforehand to find a topic that's suitable to write about. And you're also able to do keyword research right within Surfer SEO. Now Phrase does not have a keyword research or a specific topic research template or feature included. So if you're not sure about a topic in which you wanna write about, you can go ahead and do some research in Surfer SEO and it's very easy to do so. All you wanna do is search up the topic in which you're thinking about writing about and go ahead and click create content planner. In one of my previous videos in which I did a review of Surfer SEO, I searched up meditation and as you can see, you get so many different clusters or topics in which you can look into um, for this keyword. So for instance, we have meditation for stress, we have calming sleep meditation, anxiety meditation, um, musical meditation, and we have some informational content as well. And I really like the topic cluster because it tells you what type of content it is. And it also tells you the monthly search volume and the difficulty for this specific topic. So you'd be able to tell pretty quickly if a topic is worth looking into. And you can also use these filters to change the type of cluster. So for instance, if you wanted a customer investigation, if you wanted informational content, if you wanted shopping content, you can go ahead and add those filters in. 
You can even filter by keyword to get more specific topics and you can also set a search volume range. So for the keyword in which I searched up, you can see that there's a lot of different topic clusters that you may not think about when doing your research. So for instance, laptops under 500, affordable laptops for students, best laptop deals, so on and so forth. And if you wanted to go ahead and get more information, you can go ahead and click that cluster and you'd be able to see the keywords, the monthly search volume, and the keyword difficulty. Also included in Surfer SEO is a keyword research tool. So if you search up any keyword, you'd be able to see the search volume below that and some variations of that keyword. And you can filter that out as well on Surfer SEO. And you can also check for similar keywords, having the same terms and questions for that specific key term. Unfortunately, on Phrase.io, I don't really see a specific feature that allows me to do research before going ahead and writing content. It does give you a lot of really, really good information once you have that key term. But again, I don't really see a keyword research or a topic research tool included in Phrase.io. So for topic research and keyword research tools, I'm going to go ahead with Surfer SEO over Phrase. Now let's move on and compare the content optimization tools between Surfer SEO and Phrase. When using both Surfer SEO and Phrase, you can optimize new or existing content. In order to start optimizing content on Surfer SEO, you want to go ahead and enter your key term and then go ahead and create a content editor. Now, if you wanted to optimize existing content, you would head over to audit and paste in your existing website or blog page and then you'd be able to optimize that content there. And also you want to enter that keyword. So let's go ahead and create a new content editor for the keyword, which is best laptop. And you just want to enter that keyword and go ahead and click create content editor. And once that's finished loading up, this is what your dashboard will look like. You'd be able to see a content score between zero and 100. The higher the number, the more optimized and likely that content is to rank on Google. And below that is your content structure. So here you'd be able to see how many words need to be included in this blog post, how many headings, paragraphs, and images. And below this are your key terms. So this will tell you the key terms in which you need to include within this blog post. So these are very important and they're going to be related to whatever blog post you're writing about. So because this blog post is about the best laptop, then you will be able to see variations of that keyword such as Intel Core i7 gaming laptop, budget laptop, Windows laptop, best budget laptops, so on and so forth. So as you can see, when you're writing your blog post, naturally you're going to include some of these keywords within your blog post. But, but this is really helpful because if you miss some keywords or if you haven't included a keyword enough, you can go ahead and see it right here and include that within your blog post. Again, this is going to increase the likeliness that your blog post will rank for your seed keyword and also variations of that keyword. Now on the right hand side is going to be your outline. And this is where you'll be able to start building your outline. So you'll actually be able to see a breakdown between titles and headings. For your titles, you'd want to go through these and see whichever one is most related to the content in which you're writing about. So this would be a pretty decent title for us to use within this blog post. And the cool thing is, is that all of this content is plagiarism free. So this is all original content that Surfer SEO's AI has written. So you can actually go ahead and use this title and use the intro that's included um, for this title. So you want to obviously go ahead and read through that and make sure that it all makes sense. And this is especially helpful if you don't have an external AI copywriter. Now under titles would be headings. Now these would be your H tags and you can go ahead and include these within your blog post. So I like to use this as a way of getting ideas for different types of content. So when creating your outline, this is a very, very good tool to use to help you understand what H1 and H2 tags and titles need to be included, but you obviously also want to go ahead and look at your competitors and see what they're including within their blog post. So, so not only do you get the H tags, you also get um, some content for that H tag. So you could add this into your existing content, or if you want to add it in all by itself, you can also go ahead and do that um, because again, it is plagiarism free. So again, as we can see for the best laptops, we have headings such as what kind of laptops do I need? Um, how to pick the best laptops? which laptop CPU do I need? What's an ideal size and weight? So these are actually all really, really good um, headlines in which we can include within this blog post. So as you can see, we've added in some content just from Surfer SEO and we've already increased our content score to about 40. So of course you'd wanna go ahead and add some more content 
and you want to keep it within the range that's recommended by Surfer SEO. Now let's go ahead and copy this key term and head over to phrase and do the same thing and compare the content optimization tools between the two softwares. And once you've entered your keyword, you want to go ahead and let phrase process the top 20 Google results for that search query. So similar to Surfer SEO, we can actually see phrase going ahead and doing an analysis for the top 20 results for this specific keywords. And this is the information that we get back again, very similar to what we did in Surfer SEO. But there is obviously a little bit of difference in terms of how the information is displayed and also even within the actual information that we get. So the word count here is averaged out at about 3000 for phrase and the headers are seven links to and images 11. So that is obviously a little bit less when we compare that to Surfer SEO. But let's go ahead and scroll down and we can see that these are the top ranked blogs for this specific key term and we can see all of their specific h1 and h2 tags so you can actually go ahead and start building out your outline by pasting those subtopics or those h2 tags into your content brief so this would be considered your serp overview now if you wanted to change that to headings only you can change your filter this to the headings and you can filter that to questions and to external links. So if you wanted to see what the top blogs are linking to, you can go ahead and filter that out. Also for stats, if you wanted to include some stats or see what sort of stats um, the top blogs are including, you can go ahead and filter by that. Uh, news and related sources, Wikipedia topics, and so on. Now, if you wanted to use the AI built in to phrase to build you a content brief, you can go ahead and hit this button. And what's going to happen is, is the AI is going to grab some of the information, such as the guidelines that people also ask, the SERP results, topics, topic clusters, and you can also include questions and headers. And it's going to go ahead and create a content brief using AI. So this is the content brief in which we got back from Phrase. As we can see, it's a lot of different information included in here. But this would give you a really good idea of what information needs to be included within the, your blog post if you want to compete or outrank the top 10 blogs. So you can see the overview. We can see some questions that people are asking on Google. Um, we can see the SERP overview. We can see the top 20 topics and we can see some topic clusters. And these topic clusters are really good because it not just only gives us the topic, but also a breakdown of those topic clusters as well. This is for you to really get an understanding of what you need to include within your blog post to one, satisfy the customer search query, and secondly, to outrank competitors on the first page of Google. And if we head over to the outline section, this will show us the outline in which we selected and we can also input some custom outlines. And below that would be the AI writer. Now Phrase actually has a built-in AI copywriter which will write you blog intro, blog title, bullet points, definitions, feature benefits, and it also has an AI writer in which you can use to expand your content for your blog post. So this is a really, really neat feature that's included in Phrase. And Surfer SEO does have an AI writer, but I don't think it's as comprehensive and has as many templates as what's included within Phrase. And if we head over to optimize, we'll be able to see the keywords and the key terms that we need to include within our blog post. And we'll also be able to see how many times we've included it and how many times the average competitor has included this keyword within their blog post. And the cool thing that I like about phrase is that we can actually filter this by top topics, clusters, long tail and headers. So you can actually filter out those keywords just to make sure that you're including all of the important keywords within your blog post. So instead of picking one over the other, I'd give Surfer SEO a rating of 4.5 out of five. I really do think that it's one of the best content optimization tools in the market. I like the way that they lay out the optimization tips. Uh, it's very easy to follow. I like that they give you a content score. That's also easy to see how much your content has improved or how much it needs to be improved. And for phrase, I'd give them a score a four out of five. I still think that they're a very decent content optimization tool, but I do feel like I was able to get a lot more content optimization tips and recommendations from Surfer when compared to Phrase. So for my overall score, I'd give Surfer SEO a score of 22 out of 25. 
They're a little bit pricier, but they have a lot of really good features and tools included, such as the topic discovery and the keyword research tool. And they have a pretty decent AI writer included within their software. And they've made it to be very, very beginner friendly and very easy to use. So for those reasons, I'd give Surfer SEO a score of 22 out of 25. Now for phrase, I'd give them a score of 20.5 out of 25. Their pricing is a little bit lower when compared to Surfer SEO, but they do have a very good AI copywriter included in which you can browse different templates and write copy for your content. Their content optimization tools can definitely be improved to have some more information and make it a little bit easier for a beginner to start optimizing their content. So for those reasons, I'd give Phrase a score of 20.5 out of 25. If you like this video and you learned something new, then feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to watch the next video on your screen. Until next time, stay well.